Good morning and win today. My name is M. Tommy, Pastor Peace Archivist. You see, it is good to submit and learn from others, but it's also very good to stick to their original calling. Everyone has a calling, everyone has a mandate that makes us very unique. This one thing we learn from Prophet T.B. Joshua, that we should not imitate others. He says the world is full of imitation. People are no longer creative, people are no longer inventing. We are all copying, 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 copying. That's why nothing seems to be new again in the world. He really, really took time to explain this. There's a prophet in South Africa called Prophet Uche that had an encounter with Prophet T.B. Joshua. And he took time to, to explain what originality is all about. Even when we submit and learn from others, but let's try and focus on our originality. But before I show you this video, let's hear what Prophet Tim Joshua has to say about this. You have different stories, different beginning, different end. That is why we have different roots. Why should we copy ourselves? Does it really necessary to copy? Eh? Your experience can only inspire our faith, and our faith will also be on what? In God's ways. Without being told, you will agree with me that Prophet Tim Joshua was a silent achiever. He did less explanation and more demonstration, less talking and show more walking. That is how and why he attracted many sons and daughters all over the world, though he never bragged or boast about having sons here and daughters here. But you know, he had, he had and still have so much of them. Many that he has met with, many that have not met him before. That's why I want to show you this video of Prophet Uche in South Africa that had an encounter and a strong connection with Prophet Tibisha, but yet he had not met Prophet Tibisha before physically. Let's listen to him. I was feeling in ministry for the past few years. You know why? I was trying to listen to people. You know, I wanted to imitate another structure of ministry where they come nine and close twelve. I don't know, I didn't know that was not what God sent me to do. I just wanted people, people say, if you close on time, if you close on time, like this church, like this church. So I was trying to imitate. When the Holy Spirit wants to walk, I will shut him. I will force myself, close one close 12 and when I go home I'll be feeling guilty and God said to me you are doing things wrong these people you are looking for they are revealing a dimension of me I sent you to reveal another dimension and once you are copying on that person's ministry you are offering this dimension of me and copying somebody else's dimension that I'm revealing to that person everyone was sent to reveal different dimension of God Before Tip Joshua, when the late Blessed Memory Prophet Tip Joshua died, I've not said this thing publicly. He appeared to me, he came seven days in my room. And he kept on telling me, as I was sent, I'm sending you. You are the one to continue from where I stopped. He told, I'm not his disciple. Wait to, wait to. I've never seen him physically. I never saw him. I was trained by Prophet Jeremiah. But he appeared to me for seven days. He kept on telling me. He said, the way I, I'm handing over to you, you continue from where I stop. People see me, many people always write six, second tip Joshua, or that's what the message I sent it to us. To, and me, I don't dress like him. I don't teach like him. You know, some people carry afro like him. Yeah. And I'm doing, God said, you don't need, <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't imitate. I carry the spirit. Imitating somebody does not mean you carry the spirit. Before we had any breakthrough on our platform on social media, he appeared to me. He called me when he was here on earth. He called me, he said, see, come. So I came to him and I was not putting on top shirts. So they were in trouser. And he said, look at this TV, we are live. And the numbers were increasing, 50,000, 70,000. And I said, I'm not ready. He said, hey, look at it, look at that number. Look at it, look at that number. So that's what I'm giving. To you, I'm handing over to you. I'm still wondering why people are in doubt of the calling of Prophet Joshua. 
what manner of man will still be relevant after death? The things he said before he died are still happening. People are still talking about him, talking about the ministry. You know, people thought that after his demise, that would be the end of his name and the end of his ministry, but it's like a wildfire. Remember what the Sadducees and the Pharisees told, told Judas and told the, the government? He said, look at this man. He said, if you kill him now, that's the end, but you kill him now, the whole world is running after him. That's exactly what is happening right now. <laughs> And exactly, I know people are disappointed because that's not what they thought. You know, people were rejoicing the day we, the, the death of uh, Daddy was announced. People were rejoicing that's the end. But man, that's just our beginning. Uh, see, I'm not. <laughs> you cannot cause a man God has blessed. Never. It's not now, not tomorrow, and never, never would that happen. That is, you should say something. Make sure that Everything you do, you stand for, does not end when you end. The legacy continues. Listen to him. How are you using your life? I mean, how are you spending your life? Because the greatest way to use life is to spend it on something that will outlive it. For instance, to love someone more dearly every day. When you look around you, you see someone who is in need of your love. You will see someone who is in need of your help. You will see someone who is in need of your strength. You will see someone who is in need of your time to help a wandering child find his way. I mean, to help widow, widowers, often the less privileged and the unsaved. To follow truth, like the book of John 14 verse 6, as blind men long for light, to keep our heart fit for his holy sight and answer when he calls. This is our taxi. Let me leave you with a million words. Live each day as if it were your last. Someday, you will be right. Wow, wow, wow. What a humble man. What a manner of man was Prophet T.B. Joshua. No likeness. None like him. No prophet like no other. May his soul continue to rest in peace. And of course, the legacy continues. It will not end. Let me say this with all amount of respect. In the nearest future, every great and anointed man of God you will see would have a connection directly or indirectly with Prophet T.B. Joshua. Because God is raising an army. God is raising a generation. God is raising laborers that comes not just to speak, but to demonstrate the power of the Holy Ghost. And that's what we stand for. So the future is ours already. God has given it to us. <laughs> Write it down. Any man you will see tomorrow, any woman of God you see tomorrow that is walking in so much power, trace, he or she will have something to do with Prophet Tibishina, directly or indirectly. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm always super excited to be on your screen. In case you want to talk to me, send support, prayers, follow us on all our social media handles and my email, phone numbers are here. Just click the title of this message and you're going to have all my information here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I can't wait to see you again next time. Don't forget, my name is Anthony Pastor. This is Akinshi. I love you. Good morning and win today.